Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. In our previous videos, napag-aralan natin ng ilang paraan sa pag-input natin ng data sa pag-create natin ng basic drawing. Nariyan yung paggamit natin ng command line at coordinate system. Kaya kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan sa mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video ito. Okay? So, sa video na ito, ating ipagpapatuloy ang pag-aaral natin about creating basic drawing. Dito ay i-explain natin ng dynamic input interface at kung paano ba ito ginagamit. So, ano nga ba itong dynamic input interface? The dynamic input interface is a way of entering data dynamically. So, kaysa mag-enter tayo ng data sa command line, which is generally positioned sa baba ng drawing area, Pwede natin gamitin ng dynamic input interface for heads up design and entering command information on screen at the cursor location. So next, the dynamic input interface is context sensitive based on the current operation. For example, the input and options are different kapag magdadrawing tayo ng line at kapag magdadrawing tayo ng circle. They also differ based on whether you are creating or editing geometry. And last, there are two dynamic input interface modes. Una is dimensional input and the other one is the pointer input. So, the following image represents the dynamic input interface in dimensional input mode. Itong mode na ito ay available kapag yung dynamic input option ay selected sa status bar. So, dito sa ating uh, AutoCAD software, so, narito yung ating status bar. Ayan. Okay? So, dito, may kita dapat natin dito yung ating dynamic input option. So, ito yun. Okay? Ayan. So, dynamic input. Okay? Pero, kung sa inyo guys, is wala pa yung dynamic input option na ito, so pwede nyo siyang ilagay dyan, o pwede nyo siyang mailagay dyan. Okay? So, dito, click nyo lang tong customization. Ayan, click nyo. Then, i-select nyo yung dynamic input. Okay? So, dapat magkakaroon siya ng check mark. Okay? Kapag check nyo yan, so lalabas na dito guys yung dynamic input option. So, ito rin ay commonly used for the typical drawing commands such as line, circle, and arc. So, ano-ano ba itong mga parts ng dynamic input interface in dimensional input mode? Yung number one ay itiatawag nating tooltip. It displays instructions for the current step sa command and also reflects the current prompt on the command line. So, the second one is yung coordinate, length, or angle input fields. Depende kung anong mode. These fields may vary in value and position. So, base dito sa figure, one field represents the current length of the polyline, while the other represents the angle of the cursor. At kapag in-enter natin, ay magkakaroon tayo ng value which specify an explicit value. 
Then press lang natin yung tab to cycle between the fields. Pangatlo ay yung down arrow. Kapag prinas natin yung down arrow sa keyboard natin ay magdi-display ang dynamic input menu. Kapag naman prinas natin ng up arrow, it will cycle through previously selected coordinates. Okay? So, pang-apat ay yung dynamic input menu. Dito naman ay masaselect natin ng iba-ibang option for the command. Available options vary based on the current context and reflect the options available on the command line. So, next. Kapag naman in-enter natin ng any values like at 10 angle 45 sa keyboard natin, ay mag-iiba naman ng mode natin from dynamic input interface to pointer input mode. So, in pointer input mode, you can enter coordinate information at the pointer kahit na yung focus mo ay nasa command line. Maaari natin gamitin itong pointer input mode for absolute and relative coordinates. Natakil din natin ito sa previous video natin na coordinate system. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan, yung topic natin na yon ay pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video ito. So, it is also the default mode for commands such as move, copy, and rotate. So, yung lock icon naman ay nag indicate na yung values ay manually natin in-enter. To unlock a value, press lang natin ang tab to enter the input field. Then, press delete to clear the value. And then, press tab ulit tayo to exit naman ang input field. So, the default mode for dynamic input is for relative coordinates. Pero pwede pa rin natin i-enter ang absolute coordinates. Para magawa yun, i-enter lang natin ang pound sign before the first coordinate. So, para naman mabago natin yung settings related to the dynamic input interface, pwede natin gamitin ang dynamic input tab sa drafting settings dialog box. So, ito guys, yung ating dynamic input tab. So, kapag yan i-right click natin, so, lalabas yung dynamic input settings. Okay? So, may kita natin yan sa drafting settings dialog box. Okay? So, dito sa dialog box, so, dito sa unang settings, ito ay para ma-adjust natin yung pointer input options natin. Dito naman sa pangalawang settings ay para ma-adjust naman natin yung dimensional input options. So dito sa pangatlo, it is para ma-adjust natin yung appearance related options for the dynamic input tooltips. Okay, so next is the guidelines for using dynamic input. So una, when you use grips to stretch objects, or when you create new objects, dimensional input displays only acute angles. That is, all angles are displayed as 180 degrees or less. Thus, an angle of 270 degrees is displayed as 90 degrees. Volume angles that you specify when creating new objects ay bababase sa location ng cursor to determine the positive angle direction. Okay? So, next, dynamic input is not intended to replace the command window. Dahil maari naman natin gamitin both the dynamic interface prompts and the command lines ating workflow. So, pangatlo, the dynamic input interface is context sensitive. Next, when dynamic input is on, Points that you enter in response to second or next point prompts default to relative. And last, depending on the location of the cursor and the status of other settings such as object snaps, polar tracking, and tooltips, other information may appear on the dynamic input interface, including object snap tips and command line prompts. So, maaari natin gamitin ang dynamic input interface in several ways. But the primary goal ng tool na ito ay hayaang makapag-drawing tayo at makapag-edit in a heads-up mode. Na yung focus natin ay nasa graphic window or drawing area instead na sa command line. 
So the following guidelines give an overview of how you can use the dynamic input interface during typical drawing and editing tasks. So let's give an example. So the following steps gives us an overview of creating geometry using dynamic input interface and polar coordinates. So take note lang na dahil sa ang dynamic input display is activated, relativity is assumed and it is not necessary to enter the ampersand symbol. Okay? So, start tayo. Okay. So, let's begin sa paggamit natin ng line command. So, type natin ng line. Yan. So, the dynamic input field display this command. So, then press natin yung enter para mag-activate itong command na ito. Okay? So, pagkatapos natin ma-enter, the interface immediately switches to point input mode. So, the tooltip gives instruction for what is required and the input fields reflect the current XY coordinate location of the cursor. Okay, so dyan, sa specify first point, specify lang natin yung first point natin kahit saan. Okay, so example dito, so click natin to, and the dynamic input displays prompts you for the next point. Enter natin yung value na 15 in the distance input field. Then, press tab. So, dyan is maglalak yung ating distance. Then, mag-activate naman yung ating angle input field. Tapos, enter natin yung value na 0 in the angle input field. Then, press tab natin to lock that angle field. Okay? So, 0... Then, tab. Yan. So, click natin yung kahit ang point. Okay? So, meron tayong na-create na first line. So, next. Enter naman natin yung another value na 19. Then, press tab para mag-lock yung distance. Okay? Then, move the cursor to adjust the angle value na 30. Yan. So, 30. Yan. Or, pwede natin i-type yan. Yung angle 30. Okay? So, then, press tab para malak naman yung angle field. Yan. So, meron tayong another line okay so click natin yung final point na yan then press enter to complete the line okay so our object is already done okay so, that's how we can create line using dynamic input interface and polar coordinates. Bali, same lang din ang process kung gagawa kayo ng other geometry. Next, ipapakita naman natin kung paano naman ma-edit yung drawing natin gamit pa rin ang dynamic input interface. So, delete natin tong ating last drawing. Okay, then create tayo naman ng circle. Yan. So, let's say nag-draw tayo ng circle at gusto natin ito i-edit or i-modify. So, sa home tab, okay, punta tayo sa modify panel. Then, click natin itong, cell, itong copy. Okay? Then, select natin yung object to be copied. Then, press enter to complete your selection. Okay? So, the dynamic input interface prompts you to specify a base point. Okay? So, notice the blue down arrow. Using that arrow keys on your keyboard, you may switch to single copy mode or multiple copy mode. Then, select a base point on or near the object. Okay? So, pwedeng dito, pwedeng dito. 
So, specify natin itong base point. Ayan. Okay. So, the dynamic input tool tip provide feedback. So, kapag daw in-enter natin yung at 30 angle uh, 0, so, it puts in the interface in relative coordinate mode and places the values in the correct input fields. So, train natin. So, at 30 angle 0 angle 0 then press enter yan so magkakaroon na siya ng uh, isang nakapi na object okay so skip lang natin yan so ito na guys yung copied object So, next, select natin yung circle na ito. Okay? So, para ma-activate natin yung bawat grips. Next, select natin yung quadrant grip to display the dynamic input interface. So, grip editing displays several options. You can resize the circle either by entering a new radius or tab for one of the other options to increase or decrease the Reduce. Okay? So, next, select a quadrant grip to display dynamic input interface. Okay? So, grip editing displays several options. So, may dalawa tayo. Una, you can resize the circle by entering a new reduce. Or, tab for one of the other options to increase or decrease reduce. Okay? So, pwedeng type natin dyan ang radius na gusto natin or i-drag na lang natin. Ayan. Okay? So, then, click. Ayan. So, the circle will be resized. Okay? So, that's all. Dito na nagtatapos ang discussion natin about how we can use dynamic input interface kapag mag-create tayo ng drawing. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD so huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So maraming salamat!